It is time for your Perkins Kreitzer construction lightning round in which we talk about a lot of things in a very short period of time. Uh, Perkins Kreitzer Construction is a full service class A general contractor based here in Omaha, doing work all over the greater, greater Omaha area, not just Omaha and its suburbs, but all the way out to Lincoln and North Platte and Sioux City and, and environs. And uh, Perkins Kreitzer does a great job. In fact, we have a Perkins Kreitzer construction project to tell you about. And it is Thirst Tea. Thirst Tea. It's a new beverage franchise planning to open this summer at 3838 North 168th Street. This is next to a Little King restaurant and a retail strip right in front of Walmart Supercenter. That we built. That is true. And uh, Perkins Kreitzer is building out the space. Um, the uh, it, It's coming soon, like I said. Now, here's the tricky thing. It's spelled T-H-I-R-S-T-E-A, all one word. Thirst Tea, one word. It is different from the Thirst Tea Cafe restaurants, Duh. which also have tea and boba and all that sort of thing. So it's a little bit confusing, but uh, this is Thirst Tea. And uh, thanks to Perkins Kreitzer Construction for sponsoring and and also thanks to PC Construction for building so many damn good restaurants and retailers lately. They've been on a on a tear just building a lot of these cool restaurant and retail spaces. All right. Uh, so, guys, we have a few things. And, and uh, Stacey, you may want to jump in on some of this as a, as a restaurant guy. First of all, Voodoo Taco has opened a second downtown location, former Michael's Cantina space at 1102 Harney Street in the old market. Voodoo does plan on keeping their other downtown location open at 25th and Farnham, fairly close to one another. It'll be interesting to see if they made any improvements to that space or how much improvements, because it was a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, it I got to pop in. Sem- it looks Michael, very similar yeah. to the photos I saw. Cool building on the outside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, B5 Brewing Company opened earlier this month, 61st and Maple in downtown Benson, led by master brewer Aaron Bush and his family. A diverse range of craft beers, each one a unique blend of flavors and craftsmanship. Not a bad name to have they, in that business. They took over the former Infusion. Now, get a load of this, guys. The Jewel is coming back. Yes. The Jewel on Capitol. This was the live music venue inside the Capitol District Marriott Hotel. Closed last fall, much to the dismay of many, many uh, music live music aficionados. They are now actively hiring servers and bartenders. Opening is coming soon. They Support a, them. It's a great place. They had a soft opening last night. That's How was uh, it? So I didn't. Cool. I did not go. I just saw somebody post about it. Yeah. Uh, a couple of closings, Paparati, a Malaysian bakery chain, uh, had been in the Miracle Hills area, 70, uh, 723 North 114th Street. Uh, they have closed permanently. And then Zipline Brewing Company plans to permanently close uh, its West Omaha tap room, the one on uh, 204th near F Street. Uh, the Zipline downtown tap room will remain open at 721 North 14th Street. And then we have, uh, let's see, Bank of America is going to be replacing a dead KFC at 44th and Dodge. That's been vacant for a while. Has been. They're going to tear that down, and then uh, B of A will build a 4,200-square-foot branch office there. B of A and Chase, you know, two of the largest banks in the entire country, have been expanding all over the Omaha area like crazy, even in a time when we hear that banks don't want branch offices anymore. Yeah, it's kind of promising. So, uh, so that's all uh, in play there. And then uh, Mega Saver uh, representatives and city officials met with members of the Elmwood Park Neighborhood Association uh, earlier this week to hash out details about a planned gas station and convenience store in the former Fuddruckers building, Southeast Corner 72nd and Dodge. Uh, Mega Saver, in order to um, uh, alleviate some traffic concerns, will build a third entrance, which will go into the neighboring retail strip, which includes Chipotle and Starbucks. So uh, now the thought is they can proceed forth and and turn Fuddruckers into a Mega Saver. And I still am going to use uh, Anderson Convenient Markets for their Amico gas. You and me both, huge fans of Anderson Amico. And then finally, if you uh, want to check out a place to eat, Sarah Baker Hansen's Grow Omaha Eats restaurant review uh, is on the Grow Omaha website page. Uh, just go to growomaha.com 
and click on Eats, that's E-A-T-S, Eats, on the navigation bar. Uh, you can see the most recent one as well as every restaurant review uh, going to the beginning of time. This one is... Uh, Stacy, help me out. Phoba, is that the way you pronounce it? Phoba, yeah. Phoba, okay. It's a Vietnamese restaurant with um, very good uh, banh mi sandwiches. It is at 180th and Q. There's a retail development there anchored by hy V. It's over in that area. And uh, looks like uh, looks like it's a pretty good place. Um, she 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 basically said there might be a Vietnamese restaurant in town she likes a little better, but she did say it's quite a good place and perhaps worth trying. Have you tried that one? I have not. I'm I'm, I'm a huge fan of banh mi sandwiches though. If you haven't tried a banh mi sandwich, you have to try one of those. All right, I've made many restaurant confessions in front of Stacy before, and here <laughs> comes another one. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a hard time about this one, but I have never had a banh mi sandwich. Well, now you know what you gotta try. But that is also just like Hyde Slides within walking distance of my house. <laughs> Trenton, have you had a bon me sandwich before? I haven't had either one of those. A bon or a me? That or a slide. Or oh, a hide oh. slides. You know, in fact, you probably couldn't get much different than uh, hide slides and a bon me sandwich, but we'll, we'll give that a try. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.